you know, you're going to have to figure out who's coaching quarterbacks, who's actually coaching quarterbacks. Cause it can't be Joe Philbin. Joe Philbin ain't no quarterback guru. All right. He's an O-line guy. So if he comes in, what position is he going to coach a, and how are you going to, I mean, from what I've been told, Kirk Ferentz loves George Barnett. So the obvious thing to do would be promote someone like John Budmeyer or hire somebody else that can coach quarterbacks, hire Philbin, let Barnett go. But I don't think Kirk's going to do that. So then if Barnett's here, Philbin's an O-line guy. They're not going to fire Abdul Hodge. So Philbin's not coaching tight ends. They're not firing Liddell Betts. He's done a tremendous job with running backs. Is he going to coach wide receivers? I, I don't think... Joe Fieldman, again, if he if he's not qualified to coach quarterbacks, he's probably not qualified to coach wide receivers. That's an issue. You, you've got to have, like, I love these people. Somebody commented yesterday, well, what about Pat Fitzgerald? What? What are we talking about? He's, seriously? Come on, man. Like, <laughs> so, I, I don't think Philbin is going to be it. I, I think the favorite right now, is between a couple of guys, one of which being Chris. The other is probably a name we haven't heard yet. So, you know, hopefully that happens over the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, because if they're going to go to the portal, you, you you know, you do need to do that at some point. Here's the other possibility, Mark. Is it possible that if they hire somebody, that they bring a quarterback with them? You know, that there's somebody... You know, if it's Paul Christ, is, is it possible there's a quarterback buried on that roster? I'm not saying you want the leftovers of the Longhorns, but I mean, like if you're talking about getting a guy in for, you know, backup purposes or third string purposes, maybe there's somebody down there that Paul Christ has developed a relationship with that he'd, he'd bring up here. Same thing with Joe Philbin at Ohio State. I and mean, is that a possibility? I, you'd know the Ohio State roster better than I would. So, um, I, I, I don't want Kirk to speed this process up. Like I have said before, it sounds like Kirk's going to be visiting with a couple of candidates this week. So I don't know if he's going to announce this week, but, but I think we'll probably get an announcement within the next two weeks. It's kind of what Kirk indicated yesterday. And I think that will provide clarity. I just think it will, it will provide a lot um, as it relates to where to go, but I, I don't know how much you can do personnel wise at that position right now without having a quarterback coach fully on staff. And John Budmeyer is, even though he's been the de facto quarterbacks coach, I don't think you're you're you shouldn't be banking your hopes in the portal and on on roster improvement on uh, John Budmeyer, especially when you have the potential of bringing in a big name like a Paul Christ. I mean, that, that, to me, you're not going to be able to attract anything close to what. You, and I don't know how attractive Paul Christ is to recruits. I know he he's not the most exciting guy. You know, sometimes you listen to him talk and you, uh, you start dozing off as he's talking. But but he also, Mark, he had really good offenses at Oregon State. Now, granted, that was a long time ago. Uh, 2011 was a really good year at Wisconsin. Granted, he had Russell Wilson. But those he had really good passing offenses. So I have he understands quarterback play. He understands the passing game. That's something we have not had. Brian has not understood the passing game. Brian has not understood quarterback play. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, I know that sounds like I'm really ripping on Brian, but that's just, that's just laying the facts out here. They need somebody like, but, and so yeah, shoot for the stars. But if the consolation prize is Paul Christ, okay, let's see what, let's where she, see where she takes us. And Paul Christ, by the way, Russell Wilson is a mobile guy. So go back to 2011. You want to watch him coaching a mobile quarterback, go back and watch Russell Wilson with Wisconsin. That would blow Hawkeye fans' minds to be able to get another Russell Wilson and watch that kind of production. We watched Brad Banks 22 years ago. Sure. Right? Think about how different Brad Banks is from what we've seen at Iowa over you know, the last 10 years. It's amazing. That was a Kirk Ferentz coach team, so it can work with this defense and with this philosophy. It can. Yes, absolutely it can. I can't imagine that the offense can be – this bad with a new OC. I just can't imagine it. I just don't see how that's possible. That's why everybody say, well, he's not the problem. He's part of the problem. Like he's a big part of the problem. Yes. Like, and, and I asked Don Patterson, this, I think maybe the, the highlight of the show yesterday, I asked Don, I said, and Don's always very respectful because he's friends with Kirk and, you know, he, um, on a personal level, he's got a good relationship with Brian. But uh, I asked Don, I said, is it fair to say now that, 
that uh, Iowa is out a, a, an offensive coordinator. Is it fair to say that a better offensive mind, a better coordinator could work within the confines of what we think to be Kirk's philosophy and have a lot more success? And he said, yes, absolutely. In other words, like just the play selection is bad, you know? Uh, and he didn't say that, but that's kind of what you gather from that. Um, there's ways to run this system and run it a lot better than they run it. Isn't that, if we took Wisconsin, not even the best, the very best Wisconsin teams, but Wisconsin doing what they do typically before the last couple of years and this Luke Fickle reiteration of what they're doing now, which is different. But this has been very similar in terms of approach trying to support and complement a top five to 10 defense in the country with a strong running game, offensive line, play action pass, conservative approach, but not ridiculously conservative. That's yeah. what Wisconsin's been for the last 15 to 20 years, but so, much more successfully. And so why aren't fans more excited about Paul Christ? That's what I'm saying. Like because that's, of what that's, you pointed out before, because they just don't get excited about the personality. I, I get that. I get that. And I get he's not a young guy. Some people just say, well, I got to have a young gun. But just in general, he's a very qualified candidate. He he was up for the Northwestern job, and my understanding is he chose not to take that job, chose not to pursue it. So, I mean, he would be a very good hire. And Erica, she says in the chat, I see uh, because Chris is too conservative. Again, like, yeah, I understand. You'd like a guy who's, you know, less risk adverse and, and more kind of opposite direction against the grain of the Kirk Ferentz mindset, but Kirk's not going to do that. So, I mean, it's likely that I should say it's likely Kirk is not going to do that. If Kirk all of a sudden becomes willing to do it. Yeah. I mean, go spread them out and, and change the approach. But if he's not going to change the approach, get the best guy for the approach. And I think you're going to be hard pressed to find a better candidate for the approach than Paul Christ. I was just going to randomly grab a year and see where Wisconsin ranks in total offense. But anyway, we, we know that it's substantially better, that it's, I'm guessing, mostly between 50 and 70, somewhere in that range. Yeah, and, and like I say, the, the 2011 season, they were really good. That was reminiscent of Iowa 2002. I just grabbed 2019 in yards per play. They were 29th in the country. Yeah. yeah they strong running attack. And that's what Iowa wants. That's what Kirk Ferentz wants. But they've not been able to figure it out up front. So, you know, I would guess if they bring Chris in, you're going to see more ga gap concept, a little bit less zone. We saw a little bit less zone this year in general. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, these guys are – all these guys that are in the conversation much more uh, qualified to have these conversations than, than I am. But – uh there's some good people out there. I mean, there's some good people that uh, even if you view them as conservative people that are well qualified to make this offense a lot better and to make the quarterback position a lot better and perhaps other positions too, just by the nature of, of schematic changes and uh, personnel, potential personnel influence.